connector wire uh, hoop system, you don't want to throw this away after you take the filter out. This is the filter right here. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. it's the... So you just loosen that and fold this out. And this other package, you don't need this leaf shaped okay. kind of thing, but you do need a little introducer, introducer sheath and torque. So you put this on. And you want to get this right where these separate. Okay. So tighten that down. And Sam, I'm gonna have you hold this mm -hmm. in the bowl. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of doing this in the um, saline bath is so that when you pull it back, there's not any air bubbles in um, the little filter basket. You might have to give it a tap or two to get the air bubbles out. Yep, so I'm just pulling back like this. And you can see those little air bubbles coming out. Mm -hmm. And you might have to readjust the torque device just to slide it up a little bit to give yourself a little bit more um, tension. There it goes. And it pulls in like that. Yep. So if you're concerned that there might be another air bubble stuck, you can just gently push it out. under the water or mm -hmm. the saline and then just pull it right back in. And that's it's how you load like it. It's kind of push and pull with now the Now there is, when you pull that back, mm -hmm. is there a point where you, like it stops? It's a hard stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah, you can't pull it all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now this is ready to go into your catheter, guide, whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. You just want to put this there's another peel away. In your yeah. hemostatic valve, so it gets beyond the valve, and then so this goes in like that. Feed this in through, and then this just peels off. So let's say. So you're in the body? Yep. And again, you want this to be up close, the torque device up close. So you're pinning this in the body and pulling this back. Yeah, you want your torquer right up on the TUI. Okay. So then we pull this back. And again, that's in our, just um, in our carotid artery. So you will come to a hard stop right here. So you take the torque device off, pin the wire back here. So this section is out of your hemostatic valve. Mm -hmm. And then this pulls off like that. So let's say we've done our carotid stenting. We're ready to take this out and we did not throw this away. So this comes out. Just give this a little back flush. You can tell which one your retrieval sheath is too, because it has this plastic piece on it. Okay. In case anyone gets confused.
This gets loaded on another monorail system. This is going to go through our hemostatic valve up to where we have it in the carotid. There is a distal marker on here. I want to keep mm -hmm. that. And if you want to straighten it out so she can get that part on her video. Yep. Again with the torque device. So this movement is kind of like a push-pull. So you're going to pull on the filter wire so that you're pulling into the sheath, but then you're also gently advancing the um, retrieval sheath at the same time. Okay. So I'm gonna come down here mm -hmm. so you can actually like see it. So pick that up off that table. So again, it's And this is all done in the catheter system. So it's a very small movement. Um, you're pulling on the wire, gently pushing on the retrieval sheath, and then everything comes out of the body as one system. Okay. Like